This is just a planet coaster thing. We are just getting started here in the new old park. And we're just getting this to see if it will do as I tell it to do. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. But at least we are trying to get it to stop doing that and do the other thing here and <coughs> bingo it did what I told it to fantastic that's good things doing as I'm telling them to do I like that I think as it says in the title this is where this park gets a new area and I think just to say hey the pirate theme we can get back to it when we have more ideas for it and when we think it's suitable for so I was thinking of giving this a new sort of if I could give it a sci-fi feel area just a small one. It will not be a huge area like like the pirate area. This will be a tiny, tiny, tiny one. Oops. Out here we still need the... Yep. And then we are going to make Tomorrow World in here. In this tiny little area. Mm. We are going to build something and we are going to do custom and more film the building material. Uh, fiberglass, concrete, and <laughs> metal, vinyl, plastics, and flat tile and rich tile. That's what we are going to give ourselves to work with. Because, oh yeah. This year Tomorrowland will work for us. That's kind of like what we want. Kind of what we want. And now we'll see something. That you probably didn't think I was going to do. We are going to encase the whole area. So there will not be a lot of coasters and stuff in here. It will be smaller rides. And smaller things. Because we are going to encase the whole thing in this. So... This will be a tiny, tiny area completely encased in one building so yeah that's something else and you probably weren't expecting it to be that's nice. Tiny world. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.
The new park. Gets sci fi. Area come take a look. Sci fi area, this will be, and it will be fine. Is this going to be a somewhat extensive building process, but but we do want it to be a whole sci-fi area encased in this building. We might begin slowly to just do something. Done with that, let's borrow the nice money once again so we can continue this nice building here. That is going to contain all of our mm, fiberglass, concrete, vinyl, metal. Such a nice thing. To build. A complete encased area of the park. With no way out. <laughs> or maybe it is. Whoa. There we go.
Yeah, this is a huge area. But we are going to sci-fi film machine as you know something. We are going to sci-fi it up. Make it look good. If we can at any time. Then we'll try and make it look like it's nice and good and all that stuff. Oh yeah. Because this should be a nice park. This is such a place. And it's going to be huge. People on the outside are going to notice this. They are so going to notice this here place. Precision or lack thereof. Future land, or what we're going to call this sci fi area, sci fi high castle, or something. I don't know yet, but it will come to me in a minute when we're done. It will get a name, maybe future land, or something like that. Something. That sounds like it was out of a 30s movies about the future that never happened. That would be nice if we could do that, please. is building <coughs> it's building up here it's such a nice big thing that <coughs> that we're just going to put these white tiles everywhere
Mm. Okay, no. That's not. That's fine. Let's stay with this. Why it chose to do the other thing there, I have no idea. But it did. And it's okay. I think we need some more light to see what we're doing. Because somehow light is important. This is like, whoa, expensive, but I think we'll just do it and say, hey, this has been an expensive building process and we liked it, whoops. Metal, glass, touch. Yeah, that's not here. That's for some staircases later. Okay. This building, do this one. Mm, concrete, fiberglass. Um, what's it else? Is it plastics? Vinyl, plastic, yeah, yes. So this is going to be interesting because we are spending a lot of money getting this up. Good, we decided to do a small area, not a big area, huh? That would have been very expensive to do if we decide to go for a whole big area. So, that's nice for you. And this is just preparation, I know. There we 
go. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is getting into being a smaller and smaller square. Which is nice because at some point it won't be a square at all. Or whatever we might call it. Might be a pink elephant instead. So, in this pink elephant area, we are going to just get it all sci fi up, all robots and small things and mechanical doohickeys and doohickeys is a technical term yes you know you can order a doohickey it is a thing and you will be surprised if you ever look it up Put so much roof on here. And it has cost us a small fortune to put roof on this building. And no, we're not going to play in sandbox and have all the money in the world. There's no fun in a sandbox. There's no challenge in it. Because you never have to earn the money back that you spend on way too elaborate constructions like this. In this I still do have to make the money back. There's no sort of, yeah, you kind of didn't make the money back. No, nope, I have to. There's no, it's almost good enough to earn money. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
There we go. Roofing done. All nice, all square. And we are going to put a sign on here saying future land. Because that's so like, yeah, that's how they did in the old days. How can it look? And that, yeah, that should probably be something like that on here. That's ugly. So we'll keep it. Kind of ugly and those to put it on never paid attention to what they were doing. That's good. That's the wrong sign. We need a futuristic like this is it kind of sign. X X Rick. <laughs> no. No. Mm. Nope. Uh, oh yeah. This is going to be future land. Future land. Boom. That's going to be future land. Boom. And Futureland is a strange place because it doesn't have any rides yet. The cube, we already have that somewhere. It's not really the kind of thing we want. This is more like whatever we want. We can't have. Because <clears throat> it's too tall. Future land has some pigs or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I need, you know, need to lock this camera down so it doesn't do this. Place an entrance, place an exit. Um, <laughs> connect to an entrance path. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a very, very nice um, something. Sci-fi theme. <clears throat> oh, that's too much. That's okay, it's not great. Put 
it kindly not do this. Magic twirl, let's see if buildings have a sign for magic twirl. It does have a sign for a magic twirl. Okay. Do like that. Then we do this here. And you're getting embedded in this. See? There's a magic twirl. Okay. Sci fi. There's going to be a Sort of something here. Let's in like what? Bond it together with this here. And we're not quite sure how this works, but it's a thing. Then we're going to place a cargo canisters, a few of those around here. A little something like that. These are going to go out there. Shops, custom. Uh, do we have something that's sci fi? That's too sci fi. Yeah, we can have it in uh, in here. They call it Planet Coaster Theme, but it fits in with the environment in here. Track rides, custom. Oh yeah. Let's try and build something over here. That will be the unfinished project in here. Oh yeah, just leave it there. Done. Scenery fields. Oh. 
Future Town doesn't look that that good. to go with future charm hmm. and just a minute because it's open for business it's trailing around we planted that we did this we have robot standing there yeah Something over here, I don't know what, but we'll get it to work somehow. So yeah, we used the finished building, but it fitted the overall theme and the feel of the area, so I think it's okay when it fits in. Then we can do... Mm, do mm. Okay. <laughs> Cuts people in half. There you go. Yellow and blueish. <laughs> oh, this is going well. We built a nice area here for them. What are we getting? No, not really fitting in here. Okay. Just a momentum, yeah, that would fit in here somewhere. Just saying, that would fit in. Festive expedition and some sort of blackout, but that's okay. The cube is no longer new, guest will become less interested. Okay. No, but they'll come here and see the future witch. Mm. Finances are going to be fine. And I think we'll... We'll just go and add something to this future world here. Do this here. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, this will be a nice little um, journey for these cars here. And we are going to do something about this here, I think. Start testing, done. No. Done. Build the building around it. Yes, please. Let's see what we can do. We're not building anything in gingerbread. Because that's just not what we're about. Are we going to be vinyl plastic? More filters, vinyl plastics. Mm, yes, please. And that's yep. Vinyl plastics. Are going to be important here. Let's see if we can uh, metal glass fiberglass concrete <clears throat> it's very future like to have a Labyrinthated roof, the old, um, like this was a roof once, but now it's not. See, that looks like a barn. Completely. A sci fi abstraction, and this is just going to be a slow. All right, and the car color is red and red. Okay, good. The ride is called Luna Autos. No, we are going to call it Old Cars. Old Cars. 
and we are going to put a sign on this building saying old cars X X and it's going to be there X again do old cars okay uh. Uh. yep that's going to be the sign old cars it will soon be open for business, okay? Let's see how's the research going. That's fine. We are going to put something over here. Uh, Street Fox Coffee. It will never sell a single coffee. Okay? You are going to put it there. Just a momento. I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to put Missy Good Donuts right there. They will never sell any donuts. I at least I haven't experienced them selling any donuts whatsoever. So yeah. I never seen them sell a single donut, so that would be a first. If that were to happen, but hey, there's a first thing for everything, or something like that. There's a first for everything, right? There's first time for everything. Yeah. Hoping that this will be <sighs> glass, metal, mm, uh, concrete, fiberglass. What do we find here? We find that this needs something more. We find that this Yeah, we're going to live with that. Now, we, hey, are we actually selling donuts? There's, as I said, there's a first for everything. Uh, where is that thing I just placed?
Let's see. Thank you. That's not it. No, it's the other one. Okay. I can't actually be saying Street Fox Coffer. I don't believe it. Just a momento. Is he good donut? It cannot be. There's no way. I can't believe that coffee is something. It's actually a thing here. Because I normally struggle even to sell one cup, so... If I can sell a cup of coffee here, then that's... Amazing! And there's a donut. So, Missy Good Donut is here. No, that's too... No, no, no. Maybe. Let me put a little something on here. <sighs> Let's see. This here is not going to sit like this. It's going to sit like that. Then we are going to move it up. Then we are going to turn the little. Yep. Then we are going to copy it and put it right there. That's what we are going to do. And then scenery, we are going to do some more sci-fi. Sit and uh, drink coffee sci-fi. Sit, drink coffee, eat a donut, enjoy being here at the park.
That's too much. to get out of here. Like this is an unfinished uh, thing. Something completely unfinished that nobody knew what was supposed to be. That nobody remembers anymore. It's ah. Uh, Lights were what we were going for. We test cycle this enough. Yes. Excitement is good. Fear is okay. Nausea is not that bad. Street Fox Coffee works in this little sci fi area here. I am surprised. It normally never works. But that's how it goes. <laughs> oh, we want you, we want to take you. See if this here will do anything for
Hmm. Hmm. Strange. What happens here? It's steaming a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sparkles that robot. That's good. That's good. It does what it's exactly supposed to do. It's sparkling and getting everything done correctly. That is so nice. Sparkling, sparkling, sparkling. Getting things done. This is a new area. And people are actually riding this here. Tracked ride. And there's no fear because it goes uh, not that fast. We're just increasing the speed. I think that will increase the fun that they're having in here. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. Not vegetation, shapes, no. All sort of fun gizmos. And let's go for scenery, sci-fi. Boom. That's art work of a kind that I don't know. That commander is... Okay. 
Everything in here is not as it seems. Let's advertise for the private area. Because mm. this is just a small area of the park. This can't be the whole big shebang. How's this area out here? That's okay. Nothing special. Astronauts, yeah. Bump around and great machine agents, okay. Astronauts, yeah, that's what we need in here. How to be thrown out of a thing you build yourself. I think we have to have it outside. Because that's too big for in here. Maybe something like this in a corner, but that's not funny. That's kind of boring, but it needs to fit in here. And I think there should be something in the corner here. Well, okay. If we have to, then we have to. How is this? This is in a complete desperate need for refurbish. And I would guess most of the park is in a desperate need of a refurbish, which it will get at some point. So, there's no major issue here because we are going to give it a overhaul and make it all nice and shiny and all that stuff that will happen so so yeah oh yeah so many rides need an inspection and needs the refurbishment so this here would be way too expensive to refurbish but see that's the one we got in there too so yeah like this might be a good place to stop and say, hey, I'll just pay off some loans and next time we'll look at refurbishing basically all the park because it needs it. Because all the rides look old and dilapidated and um, they're no fun anymore. So they have to go for a new look. And that will be what we'll be doing to it. We'll be giving it an all new, smarter look. So yeah, we'll be looking into that. So we can earn some money again. So yeah. 
They need some refurbishment. Oh yeah. So much refurbishment. And then we'll just earn a lot, a lot, a lot of money. And we might look into an extra pirate coaster somewhere in this area because that could be fun to have. So yeah, those are some of the things we might look into. Together with new rides, new options, new everything. Bump around. Yeah. Ooh, gears of fear. There could be something that led up to going in there. I don't know, but it could. It could be. It could be. It could be something that led up to, hey, let's go in there and get all our fears out. Let's understand the deeper meaning of the, ah, and the, all that sort of stuff. That will be nice if they could learn. Looney balloon, missy good. See if we ever get up to two hundred. Hmm. No, we're never getting there. But we are. We are spending money like crazy. We are really, really, really spending. And I think we should do something about the ticket sales because that might just be ridiculous, Lilo. Yeah, it's ridiculous, Lilo. We are still going to keep the family price low. So. The family price is good, but the price for everybody else has gone up. Too bad. But that's probably going to benefit us. But I said this will be where we say goodbye you seen some of the new shops and stuff that will be coming that will be putting in some pirate themed stuff out here and then have a nice time see you later thank you for watching bye